In this video, I'll be showing you how to create contours uh, from Excel data. So, uh, I have this folder and uh, we have a CSV data that we'll be using today. And then there is this folder where I'll be uh, keeping the uh, shape files that we're going to create in this project. Now, let me first of all close this and then we're going to open up uh, the CSV so that we can have a preview. So the first column is uh, the station, the spot heights number. Then we have the second one, nothing, uh, easting, and the elevation or the Z values. So I'm going to close this down and then we're going to open up ArcGIS software. So we're going to add data, the CSV data. So we'll navigate to where you have your data and then uh, just add the CSV. Now uh, for you to, sorry about that. Now for you to display or uh, create the points here, just right click on this CSV data and go to display XY data. And then the X value is the easting, the Y value is nothing, and then the Z value is the, is the elevation. And then the, the most important thing you need to define the coordinate system and we're going to click on this edit button. So this data is in ArcGIS, yeah, Arc 1962 TM Zone 37 South, and I'm going to select exactly that. Then we click OK, and then uh, we click OK again, click OK. Now we have these uh, points that have been created. We need to export this point as shape file. So I'm going to right click right here and uh, select data and export data. So I'm going to store my data on the folder that I showed you. It's on the desktop. And then I'm going to call this ones points underscore UTM. So uh, the file type is shape file. And then I'm going to click save. Click yes. Now I can get rid of uh, this ones here. Now we remain with share files only. Uh, before we proceed, I'm going to save. I'm going to click and then save. I'm going to click the to call this uh, topo like that, and then click save. Now we have the point share file. We are going to use this point share file to create uh, contours. Uh, but the first thing that we need to do is to interpolate this point to come up with uh, DEM so on the surface so what we're going to do we're going to open up the act toolbox and then go to uh, spatial analyst tool expand on that then there is this interpolation tool you expand on it again now we have a bunch of uh, interpolation models that you can use but for this case you'll be using uh, idw and then uh, the input point features uh, we're going to select uh, these points here that we've just created uh, the point uh, shape files so we're going to select that so as it's load uh, then uh, the elevation data or the z value <coughs> should be the elevation if you right click on it you can see uh, the elevation data is the z value is the elevation data so select that elevation and then the output we are going to where we are going to store the data uh we're going to store it just inside here uh, let me just store it inside this shape file folder and call it dem digital elevation model and then uh, click save so the output cell i'm going to do uh, 0.5 and then leave everything else as default including the number of points so i'll just go ahead and click uh, okay now you can see the process is ongoing now we have the dem or the digital elevation model on the surface uh, if we, we use uh, this model as it is to create contours it's going to create a not so good contours uh, lines or oh, just let's just try and do that let's use this one to create contour then we'll use uh, 
another model to create a smooth uh, contour line so go back to our toolbox and then for you to create uh, contours go to still under spatial analyst tool uh, go to surf uh, is it surface yes expand on surface tool then double click on contours now i'm going to ins input the the rest of data is the dem that we just created and then uh, the output we are going to just throw it inside that the same folder and i'm going to call it uh, contours one let's call it contours one save and then the interval let's just do a one meter interval and then leave everything else as default and click ok now you can see uh, we have this type of uh, uh, contour lines but uh, it's not so good so we want to create a smooth contour line uh, so what we're going to do let me just uh, uncheck this and uh, we can remove this or let me just uncheck that i can just remove that so we have this surface here we are going to create a smooth surface that we can use to create smooth contours so to do that i'm going back to actual box uh, actual box then under spatial analyst tool expand on neighborhood this one here and then double click on choose the focal statistics double click on it and then we're going to add our rest our dm digital elevation model the output we're going to store we're going to store it inside the same but this time around we're going to call it a uh, focal underscore dem like that and then uh neighborhood we're going to i'm going to choose to stick with the rectangle and then uh the height we're going to increase the height so that we can have a smooth contour so the higher the number the smooth the contours so for this case uh, let me try and do uh, something like 70 by 70 and then our uh, unit is cell uh, statistic type let's just leave it mean and then leave everything else as default so we're going to uh, click on ok and uh, so we have a smooth contour uh, a smooth dem so we can change the color ram to s so that you can have a clear view and click like that so before you even create contours you can see that it's going to create a very beautiful contour so uh let's go back to creating uh contours still under spatial analyst tool go to surface and then uh, double click on contours uh, and then you're going to choose this time round uh focal dem for resta and then where we're going to store choose where we want to store uh we're going to call this uh contours 2 like that uh click save and then uh interval we're going to just note that uh, the contour interval is one and then so you remember one because you're going to use it somewhere else and then leave everything else as uh, default and click ok so as you give it time you can see now we have smooth contours now uh if we compare this to the previous uh, contours you can see this one is quite uh, presentable now uh, now that we have contours we want to label these contours uh, in terms of uh, major and minor contours so to do that uh, just right click on contours and then go to uh, attribute table we are going to add to create index so you add another field just click on this uh, click on this uh, what is it called uh, i think it's option button click on it and then go to add field and call it uh, index like that so data type is short integer 
and then click OK. Now uh, right click on it and then click uh, Field Calculator, then click Yes. Uh, the, so the parser will have VB script. So uh, what we're going to calculate is index is equals to uh, just uh, double click on contours and then uh, space and write mod mod bracket uh, so the value that we're going to insert here is i'm going to do to label the major contours after an interval of uh, a spacing of five contours so five we multiply by uh, the contour interval was one that is five so i'm just going to write there five if it was let me just open this calculator if uh, we had uh, a contour interval of say two meters and then we then uh, let's say we wanted to have the uh, spacing contour spacing of seven we'll do two times seven but for this case uh, we had uh, contour interval of one then the spacing I said I want to choose the spacing of five so you get five and that is the value that we're going to insert here then close the bracket uh, so I repeat again or we can just just clear then we go together double click on contours then space type in mod for mode bracket then five close bracket and click OK now you can see uh, we have uh, 5 we have 0 then and for the every uh, space of 5 we have 0 like 17 75 we have 0 17 80 0 17 90 should be 0 or 1785 0 like that now that we have the index go to uh, contours right click on it uh, go to properties and then go to symbology uh, so under symbology you can choose categories then uh, we're going to choose the field as uh, index and then uh, we add we click on add all values so you can we have uh, all the values in the under the index so you have zero one so we're going to group this into two uh, the major lines contour lines are going to be zero and then these other ones the minor ones are going to be these other values so you click the first one press down shift and then click the last one or select uh, the rest one then right click to group now uh, can double -click, double click that and uh, increase the width line and give the uh, the color of that major. So this one is uh, the major contours. Give that uh, that color, then click OK. So double click again for the minor, and then we're going to change the color to that. I'm going to leave the way width to one. So okay, apply okay. Now we can see we have uh, major and minor contour lines. Now it's time to uh, label these ones. Uh, but we, before, uh, so let's just right click and go to properties again. Then under label tabs, click label tabs. Uh, select. Uh, uh, label features in these layers and then we're going to select define uh, classes of features and label each class differently so here the label field should be uh, contours so but before that uh, we're going to build SQL query so that we can label only uh, contours the major contours using the index so major contours has the index of zero now double click on equals uh, double cl click on index then click on equals to then type down type zero uh, verify uh, click OK now we are going to have a font of two uh, 
so font family you're going to choose comics and ms you can choose any and then let me just make this bold and uh, you're going to choose a color that uh, tallies with the contour so apply and okay you can see we have the labels uh, so these labels are not so are not well placed as required so uh, right click on uh, layers at the top here right click on it go to properties and then under general tab uh, we have to select the label engine as uh, mapplex label so the default is standard so we're going to choose to to choose map maplex label engine like that click apply and click ok now uh, again you have uh, a problem let me just right click and go to <coughs> symbology remove that apply okay now we need these labels uh, placed along the line and we have to insert uh, a halo so right click again go to properties go to labels and then uh, click on placement properties and then uh, label position uh, we can choose i'm going to leave this one like that so fitting strategy uh, we're going to remove start and um, double density so so the position you click on uh, position here you're going to select <coughs> center curved as for me but you can select uh, any of this click ok and then click ok so if I click apply you can see now that the labels are now along the line so one more thing that I need to change uh, we're going to click also we're going to make uh, to create a background color a white background color so that uh, these labels can be visible so click on so still under layer properties or you can just right click again properties uh, go to a symbol so click on edit symbol uh, the top here choose uh, mask tab and then select hello and then increase this to four uh, go click again symbol uh, make sure that uh, the color you select is white right here and the width is zero zero so you can increase zero zero like that click ok click ok again like that now you can see we have uh, contour labels but you can see the halo extends to uh, minor contours so you can rectify that by going to properties and edit symbol and then reduce this to two click ok like that so I guess that's the end of this uh, tutorial if you have any question or uh, any suggestion just let me know in the comment section below see